So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can concatenate or join together two or more strings in JavaScript. So there are a few different ways that you can do this, and I'm going to go through each one and discuss its pros and cons. But the simplest way you can do this by adding two strings together is to use the plus operator in JavaScript. So if we take these two variables, string one and string two that we've got here, if we want to add them together, we simply say string one and string two using the uh, plus operator. And you can see the output that we get in the right hand side is the two strings directly joined together. Now, of course, you can do other assignments as well. So if we wanted to put a space in the middle, we can just have uh, an empty string in there that will uh, give us the space in between hello and world. And whilst this approach is probably the easiest to get your head around, uh, it can start to get a little bit messy when you start adding more and more strings together. Uh, and especially if you start to go over one or more lines, uh, you can see that uh, this would be a bit more unreadable uh, in your code uh, if you had a long assignment operator like this uh, to concatenate or join together lots and lots of strings. So another option that we've got, which is a bit tidier, is to create a new array and then join the items in the array together using the join function. And this is really useful if you want to have a list of items because you can separate each item in the array with a specific separator. So let's just say we create a new array with string one, string one, string two, string two, and then string one again. Uh, we can call the join function on this array. And you can see by default, it's being joined with a comma. But if you wanted to separate that with something else, uh, we can provide our own separator inside of the join function. And you can see there, all of the uh, items in the array, all the strings are being concatenated together and they're being joined with this additional uh, separator that we've got here as well. So another option that we've got as well, there is actually a concat method that's available on a string, which will take the base string that you're calling it on and then add any more strings onto that as well. So just as an example, we can say string one and we can call this concat method. And then you can pass any uh, number of strings as arguments to the concat method. So for starters, we could have a space uh, for the first one. And you can see in the output on the right hand side, we've got hello and then a space. And then also we could pass in string two as well. And you can keep going and providing as many arguments as you like with that. And the concat method will just keep going and adding those strings together. So one important thing to note with the concat method, it's not actually modifying the original string, uh, especially because we've got a, a constant here as well that won't allow us to actually reassign that uh, anyway. Uh, but if you check out string one, uh, the variable there, it still has the value of hello inside there. So the concat method hasn't actually made any changes to the variable. So one final way of concatenating strings is to use a template literal, and this is probably the preferred method in most instances. And template literals were introduced in ES6, and they basically provide you with a new way of constructing strings, and you use the two backticks uh, to create a new template literal. So what we can do inside here now is we can put any text that we want, say, uh, Let's have a placeholder that says message there. And then if you want to use any variables inside there, uh, what we can do is use the special interpolation syntax to actually grab those variables and put them into the template literal. So let's say uh, string one, and we can put another space in there as well, and string two. And you can see that the output on the right hand side gives us the uh, complete string concatenated together. And you can keep going and adding strings in there with this special uh, dollar curly brace syntax to join together as many different strings that you like. So the template literal has the advantage over the other methods that it can work over multiple lines. So for example, here, you've just got all of these uh, strings concatenated together on one line. So if we hit enter and put a, a line break inside of this template literal, and let's put a couple in there, you can see that's reflected in the output on the right hand side. So you can format your string exactly how you want it to be over multiple lines and just put as many different variables in there that you want to concatenate together. So there you go, there's some different ways on how you can concatenate or join strings together in JavaScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.